Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In this video, we are going to learn about the main key interfaces which we use in collection framework. So in our previous videos, we have watched about what is a collection and what is a collection framework. So collection is nothing but a group of objects, right? Meaning like when we deal with a real time program, we are not going to uh, write a program to deal with only one object, isn't it? Because let's say if you want to deal with some student database or uh, people records, anything like that, right? Customer data. So you have to deal with multiple objects, right? So, but we want to represent as a single entity, right? That is called collection. So collection framework is nothing but a framework is nothing but a structure where it was given by our Oracle uh, team with a list of set of you know uh, interfaces and classes which we can use it to for our own purpose. So collection framework is very important uh, as a developer we should understand because when we get a requirement from the business requirement from the business team and when we want to develop some program and we should know on this scenario what what type of framework we should use what type of interface or what type of classes we have to use it to deal with that particular scenario so it is very important to understand this concept and in this video i am going to teach about all the basic ones which are like high level of uh, what are the main interfaces we have uh, in the collection framework and in the upcoming videos we have a detailed explanation about each and every interface and its implemented methods implemented classes and we have a real time program for that but uh, I, I, I would like recommend you guys to watch the entire uh, video to see what are the main uh, interfaces we use in collection framework. Let's get started. So I would say there is a frame uh, in the collection framework. We have um, interface called collection. So collection itself is an interface. So as we know that interface is nothing but a set of uh, it will have it will specify the list of methods which we have to use it. So collection is nothing but an interface in the collection framework in Java and this collection framework, uh, this collection interface contains the most common methods. So basically when we deal with multiple uh, data, whether we have to add some data to the existing one or whether we need to remove some data, right? And also we need to check whether it already exists or not. So these kind of common uh, methods, this kind of common operations that we can do with the help of collection interface. So that is why this collection interface is considered as a parent of all the interfaces inside the collection framework because this collection interface defines the most common methods which are used across all the interfaces, right? So we call it as a parent interface for all the interfaces in the collection. And actually this defines the most common methods like add, remove, consist of. So if you use add method, it means like you can able to add a method. If you use remove method, you can able to remove an uh, object from that uh, particular collection. And if you want to check whether that object already exists or not, then you can use consist of. So this is the first interface. So this is the first interface we are dealing with, which is a collection. So under collection, we have multiple interfaces. Let's get the next one, which is list. Okay. So this is the next one, which we are dealing with. So list, so list is nothing, but it's another interface or a child interface of collection interface. Actually it can be, it, it is a, so every interface has its own, uh, you know, uh, properties or kind of features, right? So we have to know what type of feature each interface consists of so that in our requirement, we have to choose the right interface, the right implemented classes to achieve our goal. Okay. If you see about the uh, features of list, list actually allows the duplicates. Let's say you are adding some objects to existing collection. And if you want to add the same object again, it, it means then you can go for list. Basically, it allows the duplicates. And also, if you want to say the save the insert in order, the way how you insert it, if you want to save it, then you can go for list because list actually allows the duplicates and also it allows the insert in order. So whatever the order you guys added into the collection that will be persisted in the list. The next one is set. So this is the third interface we are going to look in and the set is uh, another interface which is a collection of uh, which is the pair, uh, child of collection interface. This is also an interface. This is also an interface, right? So set is a child interface of collection interface and set the features of set is it won't allow duplicates. Let's say if you add an object and if you try to add the same object to the same set, it won't allow. So based on the requirement, let's say if your requirement says that you should not have a duplicate uh, objects or the elements in the particular collection, then you have to choose set, right? So basically set won't allow the duplicates and also the insert and order won't be persisted. Meaning like it won't maintain the insert and order. It won't uh, save the way how you added the object. That is what the set is features of. And the fourth one is sorted set. So this is also an interface. So the feature of sorted set is 
the sorted set is a child of child interface of set interface the reason is that this is having some feature and if you want uh, if you want additional uh, features right then that is the reason oracle team developed this particular interface which is called sorted set where it have all the features from the set but you can able to sort it by any order let's say uh, the way how you want to sort it right because here it is not going to sort it anything in the set right but if the requirement is something like you want to sort by some order let's say ascending order or descending order the way how you are uh, want to deal with so you can go for sorted set so let's say if you have a requirement saying that you should not allow duplicate elements in the uh, collection and also you want to maintain some sorting order then you can go for sorted set this is the future of sorted set and there is another uh, interface this is the fifth interface i will talk about which is called navigable set so navigable set means it is a child interface of sorted set meaning that it inherits all the properties from the set and sorted set and also it has some extra methods right which means like extra navigable methods the reason is that let's say in the set let's say you have like 1000 objects right and if you want to navigate uh, between object to object right so it this interface navigable set interface has some methods which are like mainly to navigate between the objects so that is why they call it as navigable set so this is all about list and set sorted set navigable set the first one is collection the second one is list set sorted set navigable set let's move on to the uh, sixth one so which is called queue so queue is an another interface this is also an interface which is mainly used to represent a group of objects before processing meaning like let's say what are we dealing with the data so whatever the data we are uh, insert into our collection or whatever we do right so we are actually processing those uh, data right so before you process something if you want to represent a group of objects before processing then you can go for queue so queue typical example is let's say if you want to send some email to 1000 customers right and you want to save some those emails to some database then processing here is nothing but a sending a email but if you want to save some data if you want to save those email ids in a separate database that is called the oper operations right whatever you want to do right so basically you have to go for queue in a requirement may basically where you have a requirement where you want to process uh, data but before the processing you have to do something else right that is why you have to go for queue so queue is mainly used in this scenario where you have to deal with like prior to processing you want to do something with the data that is what the queue is so basically we have seen almost like six interfaces which are mainly used in collection and the the most powerful one is the seventh one is the map so basically this is a separate one this is not a child interface of collection at all but people think like okay map is also a child interface of collection interface but that is not a case and this is the seventh interface which i'm talking about so map so if you see map uh map is actually having some features where basically it is to store the key value pair uh, let's say if you just want to store some data and if you want to deal with that then you can go for all this right list set sorted set navigable set queue or anything like that right based on the scenarios but map is specifically when you have some kind of a requirement where you have the key value pair basically let's say student name and roll number right here the roll number is the key and name is the value so then you can go for map so basically map has some features it allows key value pair yes and also it won't allow duplicate value keys meaning let's say if you the student roll number is unique right it's kind of a uh, table in a database right where the primary key is always unique right similarly in here the keys are unique basically it won't allow the keys to be duplicated if you try to insert a another record with the same key it will throw an error basically you won't able to um, insert a, a record with the same key that is why it won't allow duplicate keys but the values can be allowed meaning like duplicate values can be allowed let's say i have a record with a roll number student roll number 101 with karthik as a name if i want to insert another record with 102 with the same name as karthik it is allowed but if you insert another record with same 102 as karthik it won't allow because here the keys are duplicated so it won't allow so this is the feature of map so why on, on which scenario we have to go for map let's say when you go for uh, uh, any technical interview or even in the real time programming world when you want to write some uh, program where you have a scenario where you are dealing with some multiple data with a let's say student database or something and if you want to go through each and every record then you have to save this data in a map or uh, any implemented classes of this map right so that you can know which record you are taking it and you are dealing with so that is why we have to go for map it is very important to understand how this map works definitely we have separate videos to explain each and everything in detail and uh, you will become master in that and we have separate program of also for that and now let's move on to the next one so which is the eighth interface which is called sorted map so from the name you guys can 
assume it okay sorted map so meaning that by default map doesn't have any sorting algorithm inside so why we have it sorted map is because of you can sort by keys the way how you want to sort it let's say based on the ascending order or the descending order for the keys you can do it with the help of sorted map so that is the beauty of sorted map sorted map is a child interface of map interface this is the beauty of sorted map now the last one which is a navigable map which is a ninth one which i am talking about navigable map is also an interface basically it also contains some extra navigable methods so map, navigable map actually inherits the properties from map and sorted map which means like this is a child interface of sorted map and also it contains some extra navigable methods meaning like you you can navigate between the objects inside the map so these are the beauty of all the nine interfaces let me summarize this uh, concept so in order to uh, work with collection so we should know how collection works and also what are the main interfaces we have and collection is nothing but a group of objects which are represented as a single entity and in order to deal with those collection so oracle team created a framework which is nothing but a set of interfaces and classes which are mainly used for developers to deal with those collection ob objects so these are the nine key interfaces which you are dealing in this video where we are mainly used in our real time program basically collection is our first interface which is the parent of all the interfaces in the collection framework basically collection interface contains all the most common methods which are mainly used uh, in the real time uh, programming which is like adding an object removing consist of so these are the main uh, methods we have in collection interface so when the parent interface contains these methods it means whatever the interfaces which are inherited from this parent interface definitely contains the same methods here right so these are the common methods which are mainly used by all the interfaces that is why these methods are defined in the collection and that is why we call it as collection is considered as a parent interface for most of the interfaces in collection framework the next one is list so list is nothing but uh, basically you can deal with uh, duplicates if you want to keep the duplicates then you can go for list and if you want to maintain the insertion order how you insert it you if you want to save that order then you can go for list so based on the requirement if you want to uh, save the duplicates you can go for list if the requirement says you sh you should not allow duplicates to be inserted then you have to choose set so it's all about what type of uh, requirement you are getting it from the business you have to choose accordingly the correct interface in the collection framework so the second third one is the set interface which you actually don't allow the duplicates and also it won't uh, serves the insertion in order the way how you uh, insert the record it won't uh, persist in the uh, set uh, collection the fourth one is sorted set which is a child interface of set basically sorted set actually you can sort uh, the set the values based on some order let's say ascending order or descending order based on the requirement you can do it with the help of sorted set so basically this is a possible in sorted set by default and the fifth one is navigable set basically this is a child interface of sorted set this navigable set contains some extra uh, navigable methods where you can deal with uh, navigate between the objects that is the beauty of the navigable set it depends on how you want to use it you have to choose the right interface and the sixth one is queue in order to process some data before it get processed if you want to deal with uh, something like you want to represent as a single entity then you can go with the queue this is called a uh, queue interface and the main interface is like another inter one another interface is like map so this is the seventh one we are talking about here so map interface is mainly used when the requirement is like you have to deal with some key value pair and where basically keys are should not be duplicated that is where you can go with a uh, map interface so key value pair means just think about it map right and if you uh, by default think about map doesn't allow any duplicate keys but values are allowed and if you want to do by any sorting then you can go for sorted map so that is a eighth interface sorted map is nothing but a uh, uh, child interface of map interface and where you can uh, deal with sorting by keys so by default there will be a keys will be sorted based on the key let's say the roll number right so 101102 so this is the sorting order right so this is what you can deal with sorted map and the ninth one is navigable map basically it is a child interface of sorted map it inherits all the properties of map and sorted map meaning that it won't allow any duplicate keys and also it allows the duplicate values but in addition to that it will have some extra methods where you can uh, deal with like navigating between these objects in the map so these are the main interfaces which we are mainly used in our collection framework there are n number of implemented classes also defined by oracle team which we have to use it in our real time program but it is very very important to understand 
what are the main interfaces we have in collection framework so that we should know the properties of it then immediately when you get a requirement or when you have a interview where you are telling you you are told that you know you have to write a program where you have to deal with thousand records and it should not allow duplicate kind of thing then you have to think about all this uh, interface in your mind and quickly grasp this uh, particular picture in your mind so that you can quickly think about okay based on this diagram you have to think okay which interface i have to use and out of this which interface which implemented class i should use it in order to achieve the requirement so i hope you guys i hope that you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys